How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to another Shaving with Surge. All right, today is a right before work shave. So I got my cup of coffee, cheers. Um, got out the shower, getting ready for the shave. It's a little bit past six o'clock in the morning. Um, today, I am using Maddie Lindholm's shaving soap, okay? Um, I got this from Barry the Barbarian. As far as I know, he is the supplier of this soap over here in America. So get a hold of him if you want this. Uh, as far as I know, it's orange and lime. And I believe there's another scent that Maddie Lindholm just made that's more winter appropriate, I guess. And um, I'm not sure that's available yet. Get with him. All right, so uh, in here, it's very basic ingredients. It's soy wax, coconut oil, shea butter, water, essential oils, and orange scent. So as easy, as simple, and as basic as it comes. Um, let me open this up and see what it smells like. I'm getting a little bit of it orange, but it's wrapped up and my nose is, it's, I'm always clogged up in the mornings. <coughs> um, so this is the soap. Um, brush. Brand new, brand new, brand new first time use. This is the, my newest uh, addition to the den. It is my newest Smiles for Miles. That's his new coin right there. This is a purple hybrid. And look at what a beauty this one is. I forgot to mention, because Maddie is from Sweden. I'm gonna be listening to some of my favorite Sweden bands, Swedish bands. Right now is At The Gates. I got At The Gates, I'm on a Marth, and I got one old At The Gates song on there. But it's gonna be bounce, bouncing around from those, but right now it's currently At The Gates, all from Sweden. And um, Razor, Razor, I got my Grease. This is a 13 16th full wedge, and it dates back to 1816 to 1823. Original Buffalo horn scales. And it's a beauty of a razor with fine work done by Shaving Chronicles to restore this for me. Get this uh, in tip top shape. So really appreciate that. And the last time I used it, whoa, luckily it was closed. <laughs> um, last time I used it, you know, wedges shaved a little different and I've always had a little, little, Little issues with it, with it compared to my other ones. I knew I always like hollows more than this one, but it did leave my face feeling super smooth after the shave. And that was something I did notice after the shave as time went on as well. It was really smooth. So I wanted to use it again. And let's get right into the shave. Let me open this up. Three minutes in, always blobbing on. There we go, so we'll rip it open. And it's wrapped in um, this parchment paper, whatever you want to call this. Oh, oh no, it's getting stuck to it. Maybe I should open it sooner. It's been in my bathroom, but it is um, sticking to it. So that's, I don't know, maybe a baking parchment paper would have been better. That non-stick kind, I don't know if it, that's what this was. And this still eventually happens um, if it sits too long. All right, you know, a place that does become human with hot showers, my bathroom. Right now, I'm on a Martha's plane. Oh, it's, a, it's a light scent. I do smell the orange. It's light. I give this one like a like a four right now. Um, let's go ahead and get this going. And let me love this up. I'm just gonna go straight, load it just like this for my hand. Too much water. Let's see how this goes. All right, the brush is breaking down the soap pretty easily. And I can't tell how much I have on the brush yet. So I'm gonna go a little bit more since the first 10 years. Let's just go into it. How much I paid for this, I don't remember. It's like 11 bucks or something. All right, let's try that. 
If not, I can always return to the puck. Um, forgot a water bottle. Uh, let's go. Alright, as I'm lathering it up, it's waking up that citrus scent. It's popping a little more, but it's still on the lighter side. So I would give this like a four and a half. It's still a light set. We add some water to this. Not sure how much water this can take. Okay, so, oh yeah. You now this soap is waking up. A little worried for a little bit. <laughs> but yeah, it's waking up. It's doing good now. All right, more water. Still on the light side, but it's lathering up beautifully. It's lathering up good. A little bit more water. And this time I am gonna paint that on a little bit. And we are ready. Oh yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna try that. I'm gonna try that and go from here. <laughs> First time use. All right. So in with the greaves and cheers. This right here is uh, at the gates. Like I mentioned before, it's they're all Swedish bands since Maddie is a Viking from Sweden. And believe it or not, this is a female vocalist. She's the old vocalist. They currently have someone newer. I'm trying to get my goatee hairs away. I have to be careful. I don't know how to shave this off. <laughs> Other side, okay. So soap is doing its job. I'm happy to support Maddie. He's a cool guy, man. His videos are awesome. Just watched a video of him yesterday using a pocket knife to shave with. How fucking badass is that, right? Um, so yeah, happy to support.
Yeah, I think be at work by seven today. What do I do for a living? I work at um, property management. I work for, I believe the largest property management company in the world. I am a maintenance manager. Um, so what that is, is I am in charge of running the operations and maintenance side of a multi-million dollar asset. And that involves me supervising the team and uh, just good old blue collar work boy, you know? Electrical, plumbing, HVAC, drywall, carpentry, appliance repairs, anything inside a building that is my job to fix and maintain on top of all the scheduling, ordering, vending, blah, blah, blah. There's a lot that goes into running. This is actually an apartment complex. Over here in South OC, Orange County, California, and rents are high, you know, residents here pay about $1,800 to $3,200 a month. Um, and that's just, that's typical for the market over here. And so when they pay that amount of money for, you know, a studio to a two bedroom, there's just a the type of service that's expected. And that's where I come in. My job is to keep this property running, residents happy and making people want to move here as well as keeping us compliant with all, you know, all permits and laws and OSHA regulations, everything. So that's what I do. I've been doing this for the past like 14, 15 years. No, that's too long. I've been doing, I've been actually doing this since probably for the past like 11 years. I started off in the construction side remodeling, tearing down units, remodeling them, and then transferred over to just running the operation side after a few years. That's what I do. Sometimes if you guys do follow me on my Instagram, <laughs> you'll see me post a little bit of work pictures sometimes, you know, change it up. All right, second pass. This is backed at the gates. Preferring the second pass with the soap a little more, it's a little bit more consistency to my liking. It's, uh, I just wish sentence wise was a little stronger. That's probably my only complaint with this scent. It is a lighter scented soap. But if you guys know and are regulars to my channel, you guys know I like strong smelling scents. Um, I have got on shelf right there, talking. Um, the stronger the better, that's how I am. But I do realize that um, I'm lucky and I don't react. To, uh, my fit. I'm lucky that I don't have sensitive reacting skin when it comes to fragrances and I know that's why a lot of people do do it on the lighter side because people do have reactions to them I dig it myself a little bit but uh, I kind of have to talk as much when I'm around so I try to get quiet sometimes focus on the shade but yeah so that's my only complaint other than that soap is doing great it's doing its job
Going in for the final pass. Oh, another thing. Um, I forgot to mention. Uh, it's a monomar. That wasn't what I forgot to mention, though. This is a monomar. Um, I just realized this week on YouTube, if I reply to a comment, let's say so, somebody comments on my video, I comment back. All right, they get that one. But if they comment back to my comment and I don't click their reply to it, they don't get it. So I just realized that this week. Um, so I try to get back to everybody, you know, the best I can, just as the same as I try to watch, you know, I have my, my videos of my group of guys, videos that I like to watch and I do my best to try to keep up and watch. Just like I try to get, keep, keep up and comment back to everybody's comments. So, uh, I don't think, hopefully, some, you know, people didn't think I was ignoring or anything like that. I was replying. It's just, uh, barely figured that part out today. Or not today, this week. So I just wanted to bring that up. <laughs> yeah, YouTube. I'm lazy too when it comes to like texting and all. I'm just like short words. Oh, well, that's how I just, I am. It's quick text, supposed to be quick. I'm just boom, boom. Emojis, quick texts, you know. So that's probably a bad habit I should probably break. <laughs> All right, third. And final pass. As for how many hairs my smiles brush has lost, so it's brand new. It's lost three so far, just three. Great with fallout, rarely happens. One of the reasons why I love it, and I keep coming back as a returning customer because of the bitchin' freaking work he does, the quality he does, at the price point he has. And fool's pass. And I felt it again in the same area I got myself earlier. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna rinse off my face, guys. And let's see if there's any touch-ups I need.
Not the best shape to be, <clears throat> but shit happens. I have gotten myself twice. I didn't get myself twice. Boo. All right. All right, I'm there. And let's get into the aftershave. The aftershave, I am using just Woody's. Woody's. This is my aftershave left over from before I got into wet shaving. And buying these beautiful products. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for joining me again. Cheers, I'll see you, I'll see you guys next shave.